And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to delete a specific color. Simple question that I've received. So I've created a simple example. Right here, black background, couple of rectangles and ellipses in different colors. And I would use right here, select by color. You can press shift O for that. Maybe you see the fuzzy select tool. If so, just right click on it and then select this tool, select by color. You will get this menu mode is set by default to replace. So if I click on this white element, all of the white elements are active and then I press the delete key and this would delete the white elements. If I click on the red one right here, white gets deselected and I've got the two red ones selected. So if I press delete, these two are gone. Here's another red element, but it's a different red. So if I click on it, the other two get deselected. And the reason is this threshold right here. If I increase it and I click on one of these reds, all three are now selected. So you could see the threshold as a range. The higher you have it, the more colors will be included in your selection. And the further you go down, the less. So if I make it, for example, up to the max and I click on any elements, all the elements are selected now because everything is covered by this uh, threshold. There are other modes, for example here, add to current selection. You can also press shift for that. So if I click here and then I press shift, you can see it changes to adding. So the threshold is pretty low right now. And I simply click on these elements one by one while holding shift and I can select them all that way. I can also press control, which is subtract from selection. So here I've got all elements selected. I'll hold control, left click. And finally, you can also select the background here, which is black. I click on it. Press the delete key here for my background layer. And now the black is gone and we've got it white. You can use that method, for example, to recolor your background. So if you select it and then you pick a different color with your color swatches right here. Let me, for example, make it blue. And then you just go to edit and fill with foreground color. And now the background is recolored. But keep in mind, this only works for simple colored backgrounds. So the more complex and the more colors are part of a background, the harder it gets to select it. But this is generally the method that I would use to select a color and delete it in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.